Well, good morning. It's Grandpa Ricky again. And uh, I don't know what the date is today. I think the 23rd or 24th of June, 2020. Let's see if I have to shave my ear hair or nose hairs. Um, it's a beautiful day where I am. Surrounded with fog. And all the grasses are getting brown. It's like August or September here in California, where I am. And I, I was just reminded that I realized that since water is really sacred and fog is water, I'm now surrounded by all these little love molecules of water. Pretty amazing. I feel blessed today, blessed by life. And um, it's really hard. I'm, I'm keeping on, staying calm, staggering on. And uh, I'm scared and afraid of dying and, and also more in touch with life than I ever have been. And I hope this COVID episode that's going on is good for you in some ways, that you're having epiphanies about what's really important and what you need to change in your life. And I went to the dump yesterday and took a month and a half's garbage to the dump. And I do that so that I can realize just how much crap I'm, I, I'm using, you know, plastics and tin and all that kind of stuff. And I, uh, I realized I don't, I don't want to do that. I, I want to have a biodegradable life, <laughs> you know. I was thinking uh, how much I would like to be, uh, when I die, I'd like to be buried in a canvas bag or maybe don't even waste the canvas. Just put me in a hole and fill it, my body in a hole and fill in the dirt, uh, the earth. And then uh, maybe I'd be nutrition for some worms or some bugs or some trees or something. I think we've got pretty far out from what's really important in life, but we're finding out. I'm finding out that my friends are so important to me. Close friends. Everybody's my friend. Everything's my friend, I think. But somebody barged in and uh, came un unannounced and uh, we sat outside and had a visit and it was really wonderful to see them and I, I cried when I, when I saw them because I have missed uh, people so much. Oh my God, it's so hard. And I'm, I'm one of the lucky ones on the planet because I live with June. And I just can't imagine what it would be like to, you know, be in Peru or, or any, a lot of places and, and just have people dying all around me. And, and they are. I'm, uh, I'm so appreciative that uh, I live in this amazing place called California and good health care and most people are playing by the rules and uh, social distancing and masking and stuff like that. So I'm learning what's important in life. I hope you are too. And I hope you put your thoughts on video or on paper or Facebook or something, but express yourself, please. It's the biggest gift you can give to yourself and to other people because we need each other's stories to help us get our, our spirits going and help us be who we came to this lifetime to be. Uh, we all have gifts. I knew a, a, a wonderful young person by the name of Lauren Devine. And she's dead now. And she had, she had had a really tough birth 
And she had, I think, decided to incarnate as somebody who had severe cerebral palsy. And she couldn't talk, and she eventually learned to, she was 13 or something when she learned to sit up by herself, and she'd look at, look at me as she would be sitting up, and she'd look at me so ex with excitement, you know? And uh, I did Feldenkrais work with her for years, and it kept me alive, and uh, her dad's uh, health insurance paid for it. And, uh, and she, she taught me. I mean, she, she was telepathic. She could communicate with you. She, it was quite amazing. At any way, she lived till she was 23, and an amazing mother. Yeah. Anyway, everybody's our friend, and be yourself. You know, take the lid off. <laughs> Tell your stories. Be you. Bye.